if you've just found out you've got ataxia, it's, it's the word that scares you. They have to prepare for changes in life, but they can't give up right now. They have to keep on fighting. I was told not to, uh, you know, really take part in physical exercise. Um, so when I first started lifting weights, um, when I was 14, they told me not to because it would put too much strain on my heart and uh, my bones and skeleton and all the rest of it. Um, but obviously I didn't, I'm still here. The 21, six years on. If you want to find a little bit out about it, I would say ask your doctor or ask your mum to do the research and tell you because I feel it's easier to hear it in person than read it. That's probably the best website to get it from. I taxi on your website. Especially when I'm in the wheelchair, um, I just want to get up and walk about like everyone else does, but I obviously can't because I wobble and fall into things. And when you're in a busy shopping centre or something, the slightest bit, what like with people knocking into you, mm. it knocks you off balance completely. Um, makes me quite dizzy sometimes, and um, I have uh, I had quite a pronounced scoliosis until they operated on it. Um, my balance is uh, well, quite badly affected, and um, uh, I struggle with writing, and my hearing is really quite difficult. At first, it was a bit. Um, even in school, it was a bit hard because no one understands, and people can tend to maybe say the odd thing that will kind of get to you or think, well, why am I so different than everyone else? But in the end, they, they now they start to accept it more than they, they used to say, a couple of years ago. Most of my friends are really, you know, supportive. Some, some actually now can tell when I'm actually having an attack and the signs. Um, to help my ataxia, I, um, the only thing I can really do is to stay calm and stay cool because um, it'll, if I'm having an attack, it'll come on anyway. There's nothing that can really stop it. I have arrested, if not maybe even reversed, some of my symptoms. I try to eat a really clean diet, try and keep positive. You, you always have to kind of look forward um, you have to kind of set yourself goals, um, physical goals especially. It's a good idea to try and, um, to try and uh, keep active and doing so, uh, stuff like working or something mentally stimulating rather than um, well, sitting at home basically. So it's, it's good to kind of keep active and stuff. Um, I'm studying for my degree at the University of Surrey. Always be positive and always think that there is always someone worse than you. I know it's easy for me to say to someone because I have my down days, but I do try and think they are worse off than me. I know it's um, going to be really hard and quite devastating news, but here for Randy it's not the end of the world. There is a lot you can still do. I've achieved so many things since having my diagnosis, which I never thought would be possible. Um, when I found out, like, 
oh, it's actually a disease, there was a sense of relief that I actually do have something. But there was also a sense of fear of, will it ever go away? And even if it doesn't, there's always, because um, it's not, it's, it is a part of you, but it's not, it doesn't define who you are.